Hey everyone, this is Daryl coming to you live from Asia. This is our uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Bangkok time update, guys. Woo! Just want to say thanks to all my subscribers, thanks to all my fan friends, family, thanks to all my members making this journey possible. We're over 40,000 40, subscribers, guys. Hopefully we can get 50,000 subscribers soon with your support, guys. So let's jump into the content. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just me offering my opinions, guys. And uh, watch out for nice cameras, guys. So right now we're seeing that Dogecoin is, uh, you know, it's down uh, today. And, uh, you know, all the markets are down right now. So, guys, don't panic. This is just a consolidation. We're going to be definitely be going up. we got some really big news, a big catalyst coming. We got the uh, August 4th, uh, you know, the uh, EIP uh, 1559, and that's really going to be positive. I think that's going to boost up the markets. We should see some green guys. So, you know, there's a number of uh, news articles that have come out. We're going to jump into those. We're going to look at the uh, markets uh, in detail overall. And uh, yeah, guys, just remain positive. And so let's jump into the art news articles and let's jump into the, uh, the uh, markets, guys. All right, let's get it. Right now. Bitcoin price dips below crucial 33k support as Bitfinex shorts jump by over 5,000 BTC. So guys, there seems to be uh, some kind of whale action going on. So you'll see that the short selling pressure returns to the market with a trader eyeing the retest of 31,000 as a result of uh, support weakness, guys. So, you know, you can see here in this chart right now that uh, Bitcoin fell below uh, 33,000 uh, support on July 8th as a trusted trading uh, range risk generated in volatility. So you can see if I blow this up, guys, you can see that, in fact, we did drop way down, uh, you know, below 33 right here, guys. And then we wicked up again. And now we're, you know, in a consolidation phase. And that's pretty much in, the, in line with what Doge is doing right now. But what's really scary is we've got a lot of short selling pressure on uh, Doge, on uh, BTC right now. And you can see that here. Trader, uh, $31,000 retest next for BTC. So what this trader is saying is that uh, we could see absolutely uh, $31,000 coming in for BTC. And why is this happening? Well, BTC USD dipped into the $32,000 range trading on Thursday. You guys know that if you guys are following the markets like I am. And, you know, I had a little bit of a panic, a little bit of a jitter when I saw that. Move, the move followed by the overnight retracement uh, from around 35,000 with Bitcoin failing to crack the, the crucial resistance. So as I keep saying in all of these videos, 35,000 is absolutely crucial for BTC to stay above that. If we don't, if we can't get above 35,000, then that uh, puts us in a risk of going way down. And uh, you can see that uh, been happening uh, as we uh, dipped into the 32,000 territory on Thursday, right, guys? So with that, uh, uh, Bitcoin risks invalidating the bullish scenario. So you know we're all we're all saying that we're in a bullish scenario. I still believe we're in a bu bullish scenario. I believe that this is just a micro cycle of a total uh, bull run, and I believe. I believe in my heart and, uh, you know, from my feel and my experience, my gut is telling me that this is just a fake out and we're going to have a huge upside similar what we saw in 2017, guys, when uh, uh, Bitcoin was at 5,000, then dropped down to 2,900 and then boom, uh, smashed an all-time high and went up almost a thousand percent to uh, twenty thousand. So I really, I really see, guys, uh, that this absolutely is a fake out. This is going to be a smallish kind of uh, correction. I'm not too worried. I'm a, having diamond hands. You should have diamond hands, and this should be the course of action that you should all take, right, guys? Di diamond hands, diamond hands. So with the Bitcoin risk invalidating bullish scenario, which involves it entering into the next stage of the Wyckoff distribution with the potential to exit to the upside of 39,000. So losing, losing the 33,000 uh, K range, I'm looking at 31,000 to 31.4 thousand. This is what uh, uh, Michael, uh, Michael uh, Van uh, de Pop has warned. But we can see here in this, in this Wyckoff pattern, we're still in this Wyckoff pattern range here. And, uh, 
you know, we're around about here, got here, and uh, you know, this is a little bit of a, a dip down uh, before we take off here. So I, th I still believe we're we're still hugging the Wyckoff pattern, and uh, I, I'm not too worried. So you shouldn't be worried. And uh, at the time of writing, volatility still meant that the recovery back within the range was possible with BTC USD circling 32,500 after local lows of 32,490. So. Uh, you know, Bitfin Bitfinex is also reporting that there's a 160 percent, 160 percent short a spike in shorts positions in in uh, in in a couple hours. So we're seeing here that uh, you can see that if you look at this chart right here, that the blue is the shorts and the uh, orange is the Bitcoin Bitcoin price. So you can see that there's a there's a huge short going on right now. Uh, the huge short positions. So these people are all betting that Bitcoin will go down, and uh, I believe that it's a. I believe that it is a whale. Uh, as of uh, 15, 1503, uh, someone borrowed a total of uh, five thousand two hundred and nineteen Bitcoin, and this is and this number is still growing uh, on this most short positions. And I I'm a, I believe this is a whale. So you know. Uh, we can see here that, as noted by journalist uh, Colin Wu, July 8th had witnessed short positions build up on popular exchange Bitfinex. A related data fail, uh, fa fails to conclude that Bitfinex shorts are depressing the Bitcoin price. You know, this amount of uh, Bitcoin short is not going to really uh, impact the price. A mystery Bitfinex user began entering short positions with a stack of at least 5,000 219 Bitcoin, and that was worth 173 million dollars at 33,000 levels, according to the uh, Data Mars data from uh, 1300 Beijing time. An account of in, uh, uh, or institution has borrowed Bitcoin to short Finex. So they're they're thinking this this is an institutional whale that's now shorting uh, uh, Bitfinex. I don't think this is going to have much impact. I still believe that we're following the Wyckoff pattern, guys. And yeah, we could go down to 31,000 in the next 20, uh, 24 hours to 48 hours. That will absolutely take Dogecoin down with it. Uh, but I believe that it's not going to have much overall impact uh, on the total Bitcoin price. And as you can see here, I still believe firmly that we're following this Wyckoff pattern. And we're definitely going to have a major, a major, major upside uh, here. You can see that uh, right now we're uh, approximately in this test phase right here of uh, 33,000 and then the next level as you can see here let me see if I can zoom that up for you the next level here on the Wyckoff pattern we're looking at around 38,000 and then uh, going up just above that and then testing 40,000 and then going up way above that guys so you know if we look at if we look at uh, the time frames here we're looking at uh, you know July July 8th we're right here we're seeing this uh, this drop this drop today right guys and then it looks like we are going to, uh, by the 12th or 15th, we could be up in this range, up at 38,000. And then by the 19th, we could be looking at 42,000. By the end of uh, July, we could be looking at uh, 26, at, uh, uh, sorry, 40, 42,000, 26, get your, uh, get your numbers right. So by the 26th of July, we could be looking at you know, 42,000 coming in, and then we could see ourselves uh, up at 48,000 uh, the first week in, in August. If this does happen, you know that Bitcoin price is going to soar, right? You know that Dogecoin price is going to soar as well and follow in line with, uh, with the uh, pattern of uh, Bitcoin, guys. So if you're holding uh, Dogecoin now, uh, just keep diamond hands. Don't panic, guys. I think we're going to get there. Everything's going to be fine. Woohoo! Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's take a quick uh, jump into the markets right now. And as of time of recording, we can see that the uh, total market cap uh, right now is uh, at uh, 1.37 uh, uh, trillion, and uh, that's down about eight percent. The total volume is 780 million, and that's uh, that's down. You know, I don't know what's going on with coin with uh, coin 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 decks. Their, their total volume has kind of been really weird lately. It's been like, you see how it's just bouncing around. So the real number is 835. Eight, I wouldn't, uh, I would just be careful. Check the volume. So something's going on with Coindex right now. And uh, so the volume is is trading between 780 um, a billion right now. 
let me just check on the coin market for you here. Let's see what uh, let's see what the uh, let's see what the uh, the uh, volumes are. So the volumes right now are uh, uh, in 24 hour volumes right here are saying 79 billion. So there's something going on with the indexes right now. Something's really kind of kind of weird. So the 79 billion here, and uh, then the coin index is saying 330. So this is absolutely unreliable didn't don't pay any attention to that guys so right now we're looking at uh, BTC let's go to let's go let's go here I think this is a little bit safer so we're looking at uh, Bitcoin price right now of uh, 32,301 that's down 7% uh, in 24 hours and down 3% in seven days Ethereum right now is down over 10% and it's still above 2000 so that's really fantastic guys we really need to stay above the $2,000 range and we're down 10% today, guys. In seven days, we're still up half a percent. Binance coin is up 8.56% in seven days. So that's not too shabby, guys. And uh, Binance is uh, 312, and that's down 5.5%. Five, uh, 5 Cardano is uh, up 2.6% for the, for the week, and it's uh, down right now uh, for the day 4.97%. Now let's take a look at Doge. Doge in the house. Uh, Doge over the last seven days is down almost 16%. So that's not good, guys. As I said, you know, we're forming this descending triangle. We've been kind of going uh, going sideways with a bit of a, a down, but we're getting lower. We're getting higher. You know, we're getting higher lows right now. So that's really good. You know, we're not crashing down to 18 cents or anything like that. So I believe that this descending triangle, we're going to have a definitely going to have a, a technical breakout soon. And uh, over 24 hours, we're up. Uh, we're down 10 percent let's take a quick look at the uh, doge chart right now uh, you can see that i have this descending triangle and i've uh, created a, a yellow support line here we're just we're just crashing into that support line uh, right now uh if we if we uh, can't stay above this yellow support line then we're probably going to go down to 18 cents in the next 24 hours or so depending on how Bitcoin is uh, Bitcoin is going to fare. So you guys need to keep uh, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Uh, if we continue going down, if we, uh, uh, you know, if we can't stay above 21 cents, this uh, support line here in yellow, and if we break down from this descending triangle, then we could be in trouble and seeing ourselves going down to 18 cents. That's just the... Uh, that's just that's the reality on the street, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, that's where we're going. It looks like we're heading down. Uh, let's see how we, how the American markets fare. But I would probably, if I was a betting man, I would say that there's probably a 60 cent 60 percent probability that we're gonna break down past this yellow descending triangle, and we'll probably see ourselves going down to as low as uh, 18 cents. Uh, if if and a 40 40 percent probability that we'll break to the upside. Uh, but that also depends on how Bitcoin's gonna going to uh, fare out for the rest of the uh, the American trading day. So also too, we're heading into the weekend, guys, as you know. And uh, often Monday to Friday things pump, and Saturday, Sunday things are dump. So you know we're heading. It's going to be Friday here in Asia, and uh, weekends are coming. So yeah, I'm not too bullish. Uh, I'm not too positive. I think this weekend's going to be pretty nasty for 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 Doge. So expect. Uh, 18 cents incoming guys i believe that 18 cents uh, is a huge a huge uh, support level so i wouldn't worry about that too much i don't think we're going to be going much below 18 cents i think that we're going to be range bound between 21 and uh, 18 cents that's you know i believe 60 percent of that is possible if we're lucky uh, there might be a 40 percent chance that we get an upside guys so that's just where i see uh, dogecoin going right now guys so that's it for the technicals that's it for the news all right guys Thank you very much. All right. Don't forget, hashtag Doge spreading love. So hopefully you enjoyed that video, guys. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, as always. Check my links down below. We've got uh, we got merchandise. Check out the Week Nancy t-shirts, the, uh, the channel t-shirts. You're going to love it. Check out, uh, you know, I've got a free charting tool. Who would want a free charting tool? Buy the channel coffee. Support the kids. All of it's going to charity. We're going to be making our charity video really soon. My wife's coordinated. You know, we're getting a little bit delayed right now because, of, you know, the COVID outbreak in Vietnam is getting really heavy, really tough. So we just have to coordinate with that we have to be careful because there's some restrictions right now so actually I'm uh, I should be wearing a mask in the, the park I got my mask with me right here uh, so uh, yeah I need to put it on if I see the cops and start running but there's nobody around guys so once again I uh, just want to say spread a little love guys I love you guys to death you know just spread the love do the positive vibe and uh, call to action hashtag 
Doe Spreading Love. Tweet that out right now. Tweet it out there. And remember, take all of these videos, post them in your uh, socials, get the message out for me, help support me, help get the message out there, guys. I love you guys, and even to the haters, all the haters out there who, the, who hate the OG in the house, I love you guys. Be positive. Try to be more positive. Life's a lot easier that way, guys. All right, guys. All right, and once again to my members, I love you guys like crazy. Uh, I love all my subscribers like crazy. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow morning, guys. Woohoo! Let's get it.